Hi there, today I'm going to show you a simple trick to do something that Apple simply don't let you do easily right now. I'm sure anyone with a motion sensor and some smart lights in Apple Home has wanted to do at some point. And that is to set a custom timeout for turning off lights in a room based on no motion for X minutes. It seems crazy that it's so easy to do so many things in HomeKit, but this just is not a standard feature. Hopefully an easier way is coming in 16.2, but uh, and now this is how you do it. Before you get started, you're going to want to find out how many seconds it takes for your current motion sensor to time out. They're all a bit different and some of them are even configurable. Um, but the easiest way to find out is to just trigger motion in a room and then leave and count how many seconds it takes for it to say that there's no motion. Now, once you've got that information, you can go ahead and create an automation. When a sensor detects something, Key motion sensor in this case stops detecting motion next. Now, hopefully you have a scene that turns the lights off, but if not, just go and find the lights and select them. And then you're going to want to scroll all the way to the bottom for this hidden option down here. I don't know why Apple have done it like that, but you want to hit convert to shortcut. And here we have an action pre-filled that does what we want at the end. It turns all the lights off. And so we're going to start with a repeat action. Put that at the top here. This action that turns the lights off needs to stay at the bottom at all times. Otherwise it can be a real pain to, uh, to get to down to the bottom once we're done. So the number of times you need to repeat is dependent on how long you want the timeout to be, divided by the number of seconds it takes your motion sensor to time out. So I'll do a simple example here. We'll say we want a one minute timeout and your motion sensor takes 20 seconds to time out. So 60 seconds divided by 20 is three. It'll become clear why we want to do this later on. So now we need a number action inside there. And that's going to have 20, which is the number of seconds it takes our motion sensor to time out. And after that, we wait. And you can just press plus here 20 times, or you can press and hold and select that number, much easier. Afterwards, we simply put in an if action, and in the input, we select accessory, we find that motion sensor again, and we say if motion is detected. And you can tap this X on the otherwise here to delete that, because you don't need it. And then we do a stop this shortcut action. And that's it. So what this effectively does in an example scenario is, say motion it stops being detected and this triggers, it starts a loop where it checks for motion every 20 seconds. Now if during any one of these checks motion is detected, it ends the automation instance entirely and stops and that's it. And then we wait for motion to stop again. And if it then gets through each of these motion checks, the loop ends and you get to your action at the end which turns the lights off. Simple. There you go, that's how it's done.